A fecal microbial transplant is taking someone else's fecal matter. Very thoroughly tested. And either taking enterically coated capsules or using an enema or both and bringing in bacteria. Microbiome contains way more than we even know. And I've watched it transform people. You can get something bad. And this is why you need to be tested thoroughly because you can die. There have been fatalities from homemade FMTs where they'll take the stool. Like they literally just take a stool sample, put it in a blender with water, put it into an enema, insert face down ass up. You know what? There was actually a really interesting documentary called Designer Shit that was Saffron Cassidy and she had ulcerative colitis. And through this process, she actually tried FMT. She did seek a doctor, I believe it was out of Toronto, and they did oversee and tested in her husband what was considered a super donor. He was crystal clear, perfectly healthy, super microbiome, curative arguably for stuff. And she went, it was two years, daily, sometimes twice a day doing fecal enemas. And there was a point where she got better, then she relapsed and it was working, it wasn't. But here's the thing. There was a fella who was interviewed in this documentary and he used, same thing, homemade, he used his mom's. Well, she was menopausal. Guess who started getting hot flashes? Hormones are detoxed largely through your stool. It's incredible.